Hey, it's Sierra, the Wanderlust Valkyrie here at work. I'm gonna tell you all about 25 Mile Creek State Park. Mile Creek State Park. It is a small park. It's tucked away in the beautiful Chelan Valley. It is the cusp of the changing biomes in Washington between the lush North Cascades and the dry desert out in the east. So it's pretty cool to see that here. It does get pretty hot. I'll tell you that in the summertime. There are usually burn bands around this time of year in August. It does get pretty windy out here sometimes, and that is something to keep in mind, especially if you're going out kayaking on the lake, or if you are just at one of the lower Camp Loop sites that is more exposed to the wind, and you don't want your tent blown around. It can get pretty windy here, sometimes with 30 mile per hour gusts. As you can see, the flag is waving crazily in the wind. Luckily right now, the smoke has kind of dissipated, but there are thunderstorms rolling in. So while most of the year, or most of the summer out here is pretty sunny and warm, sometimes you do get the odd days of thunderstorms um, down Lake into Chelan. So pretty cool. We did hear some thunder today, so that would be interesting. So here at 25 Mile Creek, you roll up, you want to check into your site, you got a reservation, maybe you don't have a reservation, well, either way, stop by Trump booth and you can get the envelope, fill out the correct info that you can check in, or if the booth is open, you can talk to your park staff. Another important thing to note is there is no Wi-Fi here, so your SOL if you're trying to get connected on the Instagrams, if you want cell service, you gotta go back that way about three, three and a half miles. So behind me here is the group campsite. For a larger fee, you can have up to 50 people stay here. And, which is pretty nice, more secluded and above the other campgrounds that are down there. There is a trail where you can get to. The bathroom's a little bit easier, you've got a nice view. On a starry night, you can see the Milky Way pretty nicely. And when there's not a burn ban in effect, you can sit around the campfire, roast up some s'mores, enjoy some time with the family or friends, and have a good view of the surrounding area. But keep in mind, you are right by the visitor booth, so if you don't like cars passing by you frequently, it might pose an issue for you. Well, right now we're just exploring it and kind of see all the beautiful mountain tops behind me. And this way, kind of a good view. So right now the boat launch is closed because it is mid-May and the water levels are pretty low. You can't tell from here, but there's a sandbar that would definitely scrape the bottom of your boat. So Lake Chelan is only one to two miles across, depending on where you're at, and it's 50.5 miles long, which is pretty crazy considering it's a narrow stretch from one end that way, at Chelan, all the way where you can't see it is Stahican. You can actually take a really cool ferry boat ride to Stahican and check it out. I definitely recommend it. I went last September and it was one of the best trips I had ever taken, especially being my first solo camping. But even crazier is that it's the third deepest lake in the United States, right behind Lake Tahoe and Crater Lake being number one, but it's almost 1,500 feet deep and about a little over 300 feet of it is below sea level. So that's pretty interesting. I really enjoy working here. It's a gorgeous area. I need to get out into it more often, honestly. Although I have been fishing down here. I haven't caught anything down here yet, but I may have to take my boat out sometime. 
see how that goes. From here, you can actually see the top of Pot Peak, Grouse Mountain area. Very beautiful. One of the things I love about the lake too is that on one side, you have forested green covered hills, and on the other side, you have the golden brown cheat grass and sparse forests but it really contrasts with the blue of the sky and the blue of the lake. I think it's absolutely stunning. And right now, the water is very cold. It's about 45 degrees. So I wouldn't swim here unless you are a brave soul. So right now you can actually walk down the boat launch and enjoy the rocky beach that there is down here. Lakeside beach awesomeness. Good for rock hounds like myself, which is pretty cool because most of the year, or at least half of the year, all of this is underwater. So not necessarily picked clean. You can stop and get gas here at 25 Mile Creek State Park if you're heading up Lake to Stahican or one of the other many Bowdoin campsites or stop for snacks, or stop to go for a little swim, or grill something out if you don't have a grill on your boat. There's so much here you can do, even if it is a small park, it's still really pretty and usually really sunny out. I mean, look at that sunset, beautiful. If you stop at 25 Mile Creek on your way up lake, just don't forget to get your federal dock permit. It's $5 per night and $40 per year. Purchase at the store here. It's required if you're mooring your boat at one of the many boating campsites all up lake. I'll show you a peek at that. Just over the hill is the restroom facilities. And the extra vehicle parking lot. So this time of year, the water level is super low, though if you check it out, it's come in quite a bit just in the last couple days. This is the marina at 25 Mile Creek State Park, where you can moor your vessel for just $12 a night unless you have the annual moorage pass, which is significantly more expensive. But most people just get the $12 a night per day. A good stopping point for if you're going up to Stahican up lake. And in just a month or a month and a half, this is a swimming beach and it will be pretty much full up to about the very tippy top of this area. So yeah. There will be water in here and all over the place. And this is actually where 25 Mile Creek lets out into Lake Chelan. Twenty five Mile Creek is nestled between Lake Chelan, the gorgeous body of water that we have just witnessed, and the foothills of the Northern Cascades. You have Pop Peak right over there with lots of day hikes. I can show you some of that in another video if you check it out. Right here. There's also campgrounds up there like Strawberry Bowl. The 25 mile creepy hike, Devil's Backbone, etc. etc. This is another part of the day use area. Picnic benches with gorgeous views. The shade of a gorgeous tree. And newly updated info kiosks. You can learn. Come and frequently ask questions about Lake Chelan, day hikes in the area, facts about the lake, area history, if you're into that, details, old pictures.
You can see Pyramid Peak back there in the background. Still covered in snow, but shrouded in a silhouette by the sun. Turn your attention down here, you can see just how clear the water is. It's actually because it lacks a lot of the nutrients that a normal lake would have. So it's very clear, and when the sun hits it the right way, very blue. One of my favorite things to do is to stargaze late at night when it's a new moon. Especially in the middle of summer, you can see the Milky Way better than most places in the United States. Very, very little light pollution. If you go just a little bit further that way on the lake, you have zero light pollution, at least according to my light pollution map. On the other side of the marina, you have the concessions. This store is privately owned, and you can get pretty much anything here from firewood to beer to snacks to water to gas for your boat. Ooh, here you can kind of see the blueness of the clear water. Very pretty. Look at all that local wildlife and plant life. Learn about the wildlife and about the bears. Now look what we have here, 25 Mile Creek Bear. What's up there? You're a little guy. Check out that view beautiful sunsets every single day. As you can see, this is where the water lets out. And basically you have lots of creeks, just like 25 Mile Creek, letting out into Lake Chelan, which help fills it up so that it's nice and full in the summertime. Especially the Stahican River, which contributes to 60% of all the water that lets out into Lake Chelan. The day use area, you have your kiosk with information about the park. This is the day use parking with extra parking over there and up there. These are the upper loop campsites, one through 12. The loop over there are all gonna be hookup sites. These ones are all dry. As you can see, very pretty this time of year because the trees are in bloom. Beautiful pinks. Oh, this is the upper loop of 25 Mile Creek on a beautiful day. To the left, you have dry camping. To the right, a couple hookup sites. In the summertime, this is pretty busy. So, if you don't have reservations, might not get in unless it's a weekday. And even then, peak season time might be difficult. The best sites are right over there. Sites 26 and 27. They are close to the road right behind it, but they're gonna have a little bit more privacy than other sites here aside from site 35. Lots of the sites as you see are right along the creek and those are the most popular sites at this part. As you can see this time of year it's pretty full but through the rest of the year 
it starts to dry up a little bit and you can actually play in it a little easier. And I've even seen kids pick fish up with their hands from the creek. Usually just trout or occasionally a kokanee, but usually a kokanee come up in the streams around September, so I'll keep that in mind. Every site has a fire pit, so won't go cold on a chilly night. Picnic bench at each campsite. Most of the campsites here are very well shaded. Bathroom facilities, two different ones for each campground loop. This campsite doesn't have that much privacy in between campsites, but it's better than some places I've been to. You can have up to two vehicles per site with the extra vehicle being $10 per night. And just keep in mind that you can't have more than eight people here. We don't like that too much. And forward and you'll get to the other part of the loop. And these are all located along this creek and are the most popular. So they're usually about 30 to $35 per night, which is standard state park camping prices in Washington. So there are some lower priced ones being 30 and 25 dollars. So keeping on going down the main loop trail, give sites 34 and then further up 35. 36 is non-reservable because it's the emergency site. So if park staff or visitors have issues, they have someone to, somewhere to put people. Then out you come into the lower loop of the campground with a couple dry sites being one through four and then on the other side you've got five through seven which are hookups. The other ADA site and more hookup sites with water and electricity. So coming down the road here, on the way to day use area, you've got your overflow parking where you can park your boats. You've got your restroom facility and a dump station and water fill up for RVs. and even a volleyball court. So yeah, here you have the volleyball court, the nice sanded area. You can see the marina right over there. And woo, even have horseshoe. Pretty nice picnic area, a little area to go down to the store. As you can see in June, the water is very much up compared to a month ago where it barely was even in. So now people are able to use the marina here. Still a little shallow on the annual moorage side, but if you're coming in for a night or two and need to dock the boat while you camp, perfect place to do it. And the gas will be up soon as well. And if you pop over this way, you'll see the lovely info kiosk with some astronomy information on 
moon phases, meteor showers, all kinds of cool stuff. These guys are a pain in the butt. Got a map on the side. Up late camping. Boat launch is definitely open in June too. A month ago there was a sandbar and it was too low water levels. But now you can sail off. Go up lake or go down. Both the lots for parking at 25 Mile Creek in the park are taken, and you're looking to park and go up lake, you can actually go across the street and park in the mega lot back behind the park workshop. And even see a couple deer. You have a pretty nice view as you are heading out to get to town or on your way home after a lovely camping adventure. There's a bear in the road. Hi bear. Lake Chelan, it is truly a one-of-a-kind destination with so much to see and do. I hope this video will help you make the most of your camping trip or vacation, or at the very least get you inspired to visit one of my favorite places in the Pacific Northwest. If you've learned something new, enjoyed this guide, or have something to add, please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you want to explore more parks, nature, and the outdoors with me in the future, hit that subscribe button and show some love. Till next time.